today's project is from my buddy mechanic Steve here and we're working on this big old rotary shredder and you know the thing is I grew up around farm equipment and uh, one of the things I learned is that the best rotary shredders are generally the ones held together with a ratchet strap. Would you agree with this, Steve? Yeah, because it's, it's like a added suspension, you know, kind of flexion. So what do we have to do to this thing here, Steve? Well, <clears throat> the top of this was constructed really, or whoever designed this didn't do a very good job. It's just a cheap brush hog. I mean, it, the inside of here, there's no weep holes or anything, so it's filled up full of water and rusted out. The back is the same way. And then at some point, this center piece right here has a, uh, the blades have hit something and it tore this whole drive assembly over and cracked this center section. So we'll have to cut the center section out, weld it a new plate in there, beef it up a little bit, uh, replace this back uh, piece here, take the whole uh, blade assembly underneath the bottom, take it off, take the blades off, put some new blades on it. And... You doing the one behind it? Yeah. All right, tell me when you're ready. So these two big bolts, we can't really get a good grip on them up here, so we're just going to try to tack them to the blade. We're tacking very hard steel to very hard steel, so uh, I'm not too optimistic for the quality of the weld, but it really just has to hold for one good pull of that uh, one inch drive impact. So here you can see the mower right before it left the shop. As you can see, we're we were able to remove a lot of that crusty old nasty material. We replaced it with some new material and reinforced the daylights out of everything. So now Steve's going to take this home with him. I think he's going to replace the seals in that gearbox so it doesn't leak. But miraculously, even through the condition that the rest of the mowers and the gears in the gearbox, they turn just fine. Doesn't seem like any bearings are out in it, etc. So we decided for that reason it was worth fixing up the mower. Anyway, random little video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.